And away he goes. We have done it. Well done! Thank you, Fusoya. I did it without you. I didn't know you people had such power. Your people might have been further along than us Lunarians. No doubt. You just threw shit. But Zeromus' last words. As long as there is evil in the hearts of people, evil in our minds will never disappear. We all have both evil and good in our mind, just as there are the crystals of light and darkness, the ground and underground. But as long as the evil exists, so does good. Just as you held good in your heart to fight evil. You're right, man. Who, who are you waving at? It's hard to believe Zemus didn't use you instead. <laughs> ah, don't worry, goodness is my middle name. I must now return to my sleep. You? We'll go back to our planet. There are people waiting for us. I see. You have great comrades. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Go, Bess. May I go with you? You? I cannot go back to the Earth considering what I have done. Besides, I would like to see my father's people. If you wish, but it will be a long sleep. I understand. Thanks, Cecil, for calling me brother. I know you can't forgive or forget what I've done. I've caused you so much pain. We must go now. Live in peace. Now let us go. Yes. Cecil! It's your last chance, Cecil. Say it! Goodbye. Cecil! Cecil, say something! Mm. Goodbye, brother. So long. Cecil. And away he goes. Not a very uh, heartfelt goodbye, I might say, but one that wasn't as awkward as it could have been. And there's our blue little world with the two moons that are on the other side and the other planets in our system. Apparently we have saved them all by defeating Zero Miss. One to be born from a dragon, hoisting the light and the dark, arises high up in the sky to the still land, veiling the moon with the light of eternity, it brings another promise to Mother Earth with a bounty and mercy. The moon has just started to seek for its own light. Do we really need more Star Wars parallels with the, the text scroll here? I think there are plenty in this game so far, but nonetheless, we have fulfilled the prophecy. We have become the legend that we were meant to be. We have saved the world. We have defeated Zeromus. No, we haven't defeated all evil. We can only say that we've done our part. But what a hell of a part it was. And now we're back in, on Earth, thanks to our, our big whale. Which sinks back into the ocean. Hopefully we got off of it first. Let's start today's lesson. 
Yes, master! What is the lesson? Where is Pal? <laughs> Not again! I will fetch him! Smack him upside the head! He deserves it! You know, it was then I cast ice to open up Mount Ordeals! Really? You're hitting on the five-year-old? Oh, smacked upside the head! Ouch! <laughs> Enough of your boasting! Elder is waiting for you! What? I was totally gonna get to half base! How many times do I have to tell you not to skip lessons? Here's your homework! This is why I skip lessons! You give me homework! <laughs> Please, no! Uh -huh. That serves you right. Now you gotta cast ice a thousand times. Damn it. That's not how this game works. To begin with, your highness lacks self-awareness of being the successor to the throne. Don't worry. I will not if you stop dating girls all the time. Okay, okay, really? Dating girls? He's not allowed to date? Please, do what you say for a change. If he's gonna be the king, he just, you know, says, Hey, babe, come over here. And that's how that works. But I can find no girl more beautiful than you in this world, Rydia. Oh, he's in love with Rydia. I wonder how that works out. Your Highness. And off he goes. But they all have to do a jump. Apparently that's the tradition in Evelyn. I had not expected her to come back here. Amazing girl. Right here. Baby monster. Why don't you have any fangs like us right here? Are we different? Yes, yes you are. Come on, there's nothing different between us. Yeah, just a, just a little bit. Sure will be fun around here. Yes, and she's beautiful. <laughs> That's what everybody keeps saying. Wonder who the baby is. Valifor? Alexander? I don't know. Heart is what's important. Right, Cecil? Now Yang's in charge too. We just we're just a party of kings and queens, apparently. Honey! Stop calling me that. You are a queen now! So that means you have to stop hitting him in the head with a frying pan. But I don't like such formalities. Oops. It's time for training. Was that really supposed to be all him? It was like Yang's wife supposed to say one of those. Let's go. Ah, chew, and then they run. Damn Krillins. So do you. What? I'm sure that Yang will rebuild a fabulous fable. I wish I hadn't abdicated my throne. Why aren't I in charge anymore? That was so much better than Yang. Even Edward. Hooray. Edward. They're, they're rebuilding, I guess. You guys need to sweep the floor again. Prince Edward. Let's... Let us listen to them. Whoa, that went way too fast. Let's finish today's work before that. Don't you want to rebuild our castle? I'm not even hitting any buttons here. That just went way too damn fast. Yes, promise. They wanted to hear the story of the paladin is what I gathered from that, though. Which would be the story of Cecil. And, uh, and Edward can tell him that he never hid in a battle, even though he clearly did. Watch me from up there, Anna. I have the people of Damsian with me. Yes, of course you do. Of course you do. I hope Tello will keep you company. He's gonna make sure you don't get to her up there. Friggin' Edward. Lally ho! And then they jump. Work hard! Rebuild our castle as soon as possible. Was it really that destroyed? I don't remember the Dwarven castle being destroyed. I mean, maybe a little bit, but... King, we haven't got enough materials for that. Scrap the tanks. There won't be another war. Ever? 
Surely we will never need tanks ever again. War is done because we killed one dude. Father, I wonder what Cecil and others are doing. Cecil and others? I received good news. Cecil will ascend the Baronian throne with Rosa as his queen, so everybody is a king and a queen now. Except for Rydia, I guess. Really? And we are invited to their ceremony. How nice! Yeah, outside of Rydia, everybody's pretty much on, on a throne now, and it sounds like is gonna be on, well, Edge's throne. That didn't sound right. Scrap the tanks! Lally ho! Get rid of the tanks! Nobody needs those anymore! Oh, there's Kane. He didn't become a king or a queen, I guess. That'd be weird if you became a queen, though. No? Cecil, Rosa. Forgive my absence. I must strengthen myself to be a true dragoon before going back. Dude, you were the best dragoon in history when we last saw you. Until then. Since when are you blonde, by the way? He's got flowing golden locks, and apparently he can't find a woman. I don't know, maybe he's got a butt-ugly face. That's why he's wearing the helmet all the time. Oh! What do you see in your telescope? Yes, what? The moon! <laughs> yes, I can see it without your fancy telescope. What's happening on the moon? I don't see anything particularly important. I don't see really anything at all. That can't be the view from your telescope. Number one, those planets are moving way too fast. Plus, we're supposed to be on that blue one. So how can you see the blue one? Yeah, that one right there with the two moons. You're supposed to be on that one. How can you see it from your observatory like that? Plus, it would go directly behind the sun, wouldn't it? Hey, no, it lost one of the moons. So I guess this isn't the view from the observatory, but one of the moons just decided I'm getting the hell out of here. Screw your planet. I must go back to my planet. What? Why are you so indecisive about words, Cecil? What is it, Cecil? Nothing. I thought I heard my brother's voice as he disappeared out of the solar system. Really? Never mind. I've clearly gone crazy, Rosa. I'm sorry, baby. Hey, what is up, Sid? Hey, what are you doing? They're all waiting for you. Oh, okay. Sorry. We have plenty of time to spend together, Rosa. And Cecil. Or shall I say, Queen? Hi. Rosa is fine. Okay, Rosa, the bride needs makeup. The maids are waiting. Hurry up. Oh, there's going to be a wedding. I'm not supposed to see the bride on day of her wedding. She doesn't have anything blue either. It's been a while since we last saw them. They must be coming now. Hurry, Cecil. Yes. Everybody must hurry. I did hear him. He said goodbye. I only knew him for at the most a couple years, but he was still my brother, damn it. How you doing, Edge? I is this the part where you try to get with uh, Rydia? It's like a last ditch effort. I, b I believe you're supposed to be on the groom side, but apparently not. Apparently, uh, Edge is the maid of honor in this in this scenario here. You guys aren't lining up properly at all. Maybe this isn't the wedding just yet. And here comes the ring bearer and the flower girl, apparently. Yeah, Elder, if you could, you know, just escort them around, that'd be that'd be appreciated. Yeah, over there. Just wherever, just stand still. 
Hey, buddy, how you doing? Just, just get in line. Thank, thanks, Edward. If you could not hide off of that line, that would be greatly appreciated. Oh, and <laughs> Edge refuses to look in her face. What's up? H how you doing? I'll, I'll just look this way. Socially awkward Edge, apparently. And not everybody has a victory sprite. <laughs> How awesome is that? Like the, the the dwarves and the elder, they're like, what? What am I supposed to do? I do the the sprite when you win. I never win. <laughs> oh, and that does it for for Final Fantasy IV, as, or as it says here, Final Fantasy II, because I'm doing the uh, the original Super Nintendo North American release. <laughs> um. Wow, uh, it's been a while since I played this game, I must say, first of all. And, um, yeah, Nobu Uemetsu. Matsu. Sorry, I know how to say his name, I swear. Um, I must say, it was a lot uh, sillier and, and actually funnier than I remember. Um, I remember it kind of being kind of serious, of course, with all the, the, the sacrifices that are made throughout the plot. Uh, but really, there's a lot of humor and, and silliness in it to try to keep you through it. And uh, it really livens it up from time to time. So I apologize if I was a little too silly, uh, or however you want to phrase it, in the uh, in the ending there. But it was, uh, well, the game kind of insisted upon it at times. Uh, this is actually one of... Uh, one of the top games for me of the early era of, of Final Fantasy in the series. And although I wouldn't probably put it up on the pedestal that, that some other Final Fantasy fans put it on, you know, it's up there. It's not my favorite, as I've said before. Um, but it's still very good in terms of plot. This is the, by far the deepest plot that we've had in a Final Fantasy game to date. Um, you know, one through four. Four beats everything else out, no problem. In terms of uh, gameplay, I love uh, the restricted class. It really kind of brings a sense of having to use each character, having to think, bringing strategy to it, even though I probably didn't use the best strategy uh, throughout this entire Let's Play. Uh, but it, it definitely gives the appearance that you need strategy, even though sometimes you really just don't. Um, in terms of music, it was always great. In terms of the world uh, design, it was great. Um, overall, you know, given its time, the time that it came out, I really do have to give it uh, maybe an eight and a half to a nine out of ten. Um, once again, you know, I, I, I'm kind of jaded. I'll never give anything a 10 out of 10. Uh, but for the time that it came out, it really was great. Um, trying to go back and play it now, uh, you know, how well did it last? I think it lasted pretty damn good. Uh, it lasted pretty well. Uh, you might want to play the the other versions of the game. Uh, for instance, I would say that the uh, the PSP version is actually the best version of the game, uh, especially since it comes with the, the bonus uh, games, uh, the interlude and the after years. Uh, but overall, I think this is a great game. If you've never played it, I would recommend it. There's so many versions out there, and that's because it is a great game that really didn't get as much exposure as some of the later Final Fantasies. Uh, so they try to re-release it, try to get more people involved in this game. And it is a great game, and I don't think you can ever take that away from this game. Despite what may happen with the series, how you feel about the other games in the series, this one is good. Uh, a little bit uh, silly, a little bit serious. But overall, executed very, very well. The end. But do stay tuned, because even though this is the finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, of course, I do have a couple bonus videos planned out for this. Now, there is no New Game Plus or anything like that, so we are stuck on this The End screen. So, that is going to do it for these episodes of Let's Play Final Fantasy 4. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined by everybody 
who made an appearance today. Whether we saved them or they ditched the planet. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>